How's it going guys? Today I'm bringing you another Pokemon Showdown Live, or I say another when I haven't done one in a while, but yeah, we're doing a Showdown Live, and today we are just going to do a few battles, whatever, two or three, and see how we uh, do with everything. So, using a team my friend Gumtree gave me, I uh, got some interesting Pokemon, I got a nice Mandibuzz, which is great, uh, yeah, it's pretty good. So, look for battle, and uh, I'm in the wrong tier, because I'm meant to be in Pokebank OU, that's a mistake, and uh, yeah, there we go, so. Let's see, uh, okay, okay, uh, nice defensive core with, uh, Tentacruel and Goliath's core, as well as Dragology, which is also a very good, uh, special defensive Pokemon. I am gonna lead off with, I guess, Genesect is probably the best lead, it's, yeah, we'll go with Genesect. And this Genesect does have Thunderbolt, but I got the attack boost, pretty much confirming my assumption of it being a special defensive what we'll do is go for a U-turn and just get out of there. And we will go into... It's Mandibuzz, just in case he wants to set up any like Toxic Spikes or anything like that. And well, I actually got that right. So, sets up some Toxic Spikes. I'm going to just knock off his leftovers. I don't know why his leftovers could have Black Sludge, but... Don't even care about the burn, really. Uh, Mandibuzz is pretty much... Well, I guess I do, because it's going to like annoy me when it comes to stalling stuff out. But I'm going to go for a Defog. As I hope he goes for the spikes again and I can just uh, get rid of those things. So, yeah, that's, uh, that's good. As he's going to switch out and go into his thunderous, as I'm going to be able to get rid of those hazards. And now what I can do is, uh, hmm. I'm going to go into Celebi. I'm not going to, I was thinking about going to Mamoswine, but Celebi is probably my better switch because he could go for the, uh, for the Focus Blast or Tin Power Grass if he had that for whatever reason, but just safer to go to Celebi as he goes to his Houndoom. And, uh, I'm gonna go for a T-Wave as, oh, Substitute. <laughs> okay, okay, it's fine. Uh, let's see. Um, I think I can take a hit, to be honest, so. Yeah, okay, that's not good. This is not very good. I have a Heat Heatran, though, and it is a uh, Choice Scarf Heatran, which is kind of interesting. So, go for Nerd Power, just break that sub. As it goes for Dark Pulse and gets a crit, uh, that mattered not, doesn't matter, because I have Mammoth Swine. And I can just go for an Earthquake, and if he switches out, that's cool, if not, then whatever. But yeah, losing Heatran is obviously not good, because, actually, hmm. No, I'm, I'm gonna Earthquake, I could Icicle, uh, well, no, I could Crash, I could Icicle Crash, or I could Stone Edge, but I think, uh, Going for the Earthquake is better, because he could think I'm not, uh, Scarf. I'm not Scarf, uh, not Sashed. And attack me. But there's no reason for me to bring it in if it's not Sashed. Because I don't think I can kill it, or in case I was Scarf or anything. So, he's afraid, that's good. Uh, scared out of nice threat at plus two, can't be too disappointed. What we'll do is go into Genesect, because he can't Toxic Stall Genesect. And, uh, we get the nice special attack boost. So, what we'll do is go for... I wonder if he's going to protect and see what I locked myself into. Yeah, he is. I'm not locked into anything, because I'm actually expert belt, but... Uh, obvious switch out into... Uh, the... Tentacruel seems obvious. So I'm going to T-Bolt. Nice. Nice. Nice! <laughs> the plays! The plays are here! <laughs> you didn't need all that scarf. You don't think I'm scarf. Alright, so, uh, I do have Mammoth Swine to take this thing, so it's fine. Go for Flamethrower. Nice damage, nice respectable damage from Genesect. As he goes for the SD, I'm pretty sure I can live a Sneak at, uh, full HP. Barely, but I'm pretty sure I can live. So, if I don't, that sucks. I do live, and I am able to take him out with another Flamethrower. As Genesect is just doing immense work here. So, Hound Doom is in, uh... I pretty much just need to free switch out into my, uh, to my Mammoth one. I need to keep this thing alive for Gliscor, so what we'll do is go to Mandibuzz just to take a hit. And, uh, yeah, wow, that ate it up, alright. I have the Whirlwind, so if he does want to go for a substitute, I can just do that and get him out of here. I really don't want this thing setting up on me, because it will be a problem. And yeah, as expected, goes for the substitute. I'll Whirlwind him out. And, uh, yeah, I can just whirlwind everything, so I'm gonna go for a roost, I'm gonna just stall a little bit, because I'm gonna predict him to go for protect, or, if he does, then whatever, he can't do anything to me, I assume, so, 
Get up a nice roost. Yeah, he does go for the protect. And I can just get my HP back. And I can just uh, whirl him out into something accordingly, which, honestly, I'd like to get Dragality out here. But, whatever. So, that's knocked out of there. Alright, sweet. Uh, I'm just gonna keep clicking Whirlwind. Forcing him to attack me. Missing the Fire Blast, unfortunate. Back out to Gliscor. <laughs> and, uh, he is going to protect. So, we are gonna go into Genesect. As he doubles, okay, okay. Alright, uh, this is unfavorable, so... Uh... Is he gonna go for the... Yeah, he's gonna go for it. He's gonna go for both switch. And I can live any hit, so... I'm gonna Ice Crash, I am Sashed, so I do eat that up. And we are gonna bring that thing down to its Sash. Unfortunately for him, I do have the priority, so I am gonna be able to knock him out. And uh, I'm pretty sure Keldeo can deal with the... Uh, okay. Okay. <laughs> Free damage. Alright, I'll take it. I'll take it. Alright, so it's Ice Crash. <laughs> and, uh, just knock this thing out. Alright, uh, fair enough. You just slack... Or, not slack. You sacked your Glyscore. For whatever possible reason. That did not make sense. Now you go to Houndoom. Uh, I'm gonna Ice Shard and just get that nice little bit of residual. And, uh, yeah, take it, Dark Bolts. And Keldeo is choice specs. Pretty sure I can just, uh, Sacred Sword everything, so yeah, we'll do that. Eat up a Dark Pulse, because I'm a Keldeo. Get that nice Justified boost. Of course he flinches me, though. That just would be insanely obvious. Another attack boost. And really? Okay, okay, this needs to stop. You need to calm down now. You need to stop that. There we go. Damn. That needed to stop, and it needed to stop quickly. Because that was not, that was not good. Alright, so, I mean, I have the Celebi. And I want to keep this thing alive. I want to keep my Keldeo alive, because I need it for Dracology, so. This thing's a problem. <laughs> this, uh, this Thunderous is a problem. Alright, so Dracology. Um. I could just Thunder Wave it. I don't see the point. I'm going to just U-turn. I need to keep Celebi alive as like fodder for the well not fodder, just to take a hit from the uh from the Thunderous. So go with Mandy Buzz. As he set up to or he sets up toxic spikes for whatever reason. Uh all I can do is really go for knockoff. That's all I can do. So he has to kill me. Or just phase me out into something that can kill him, like Genesex, for example. Alright, so Ice Beam. It should do a lot. Uh yeah, you should. I know Dragality is like immense special defense, but this should still do a lot. And how long is this battle? How long have we been going for? That didn't. Whoa, Genesect. Nice expert belt, Genesect. Doing some work. And I just get knocked out into something else that I can kill. So, yeah, with Sacred Sword. Actually, yeah, yeah, Sacred Sword's gonna kill it. It is choice specs. Last Pokemon I can just kill with uh, Celebi. So, let's just uh, take a Volt Switch, he can't switch out into anything. And we can go to Celebi, who's at a clean amount of HP, nice uh, 6 or 87%. And we can just go for a Leaf Storm, and knock him out, don't miss, yes, alright, sweet, there we go. Nice, nice, uh, I thought it was going to go wrong for me when he got that crit at the start, but actually turned out to go pretty well, we are at 8 minutes after one battle, which is interesting. It was a long battle, uh, didn't think it would be that long. Alright, so we have very standard stuff. Obviously, I'm afraid of the Genesect. I do have a Heatran, which is like the Genesect counter, but I am afraid of it for obvious reasons. I'm going to lead off with Heatran. As he leads off with this is Elf, I don't want to get tricked. I don't have... A, well, I have Mendibus, but I don't want that to get tricked. Because I need Defog, maybe. Into, actually, does he have anything? I use this to set up Hazards. Alright, uh... I guess if anything wants to get, well, if he wants to trick, I guess, I'll just go with this anyway. As he goes for, okay, the taunt, uh, I guess he expects me to set Brock, he doesn't know what kind of, uh, Heatran I am, because I am Scarfed. It's a good thing I didn't actually reveal that, because, well, I, I might never reveal it. I would have revealed it, because I would have been faster than him, so, I'm going to keep that as my, uh, as my hidden gem, I guess, in my back pocket, just to make sure he doesn't know. As I can go for knockoff, uh, safely on anything, really, uh, I guess his Whimsicott can take it, but 
Why would you switch that in on, uh, Mandibuzz is unknown. So, Focus Ash, uh, he's obviously gonna go for the explosion. I'm saying it, I can take it. I can take it, I'm a Mandibuzz, of course I can take it. I just took 50, I took 44% from explosion, not even, I took 38 because of the leftovers, so I mean, that was not a problem. Anyway, I need this taunt to wear off. Because one, I need to defog, and two, I need to uh, get this Mew out of here. Goes for the Wisp, cool, I'm just gonna knock off on that as well. And knock off the lefties, great. As now, I can go for a uh, defog, just get rid of those hazards. Uh, I know his Heatran could probably have rocks, his Mew could possibly have rocks, but so long as these ones are away right now, then I don't see a problem. Uh, I can go into Genesect. Uh, Alright, so he's gonna go to Gengar, cool, I'm gonna just defog away those hazards. And, uh, what I can do is go for... Well, I guess he might want to trap me, so... I'm just gonna go for a knockoff. Alright, he substitutes. I'm pretty sure I'll still break the sub. And, uh, I guess he can substall me to the point where he can kill me, but I can just go for a roost and get my HP back. Man, it was such a great Pokemon. It's so underrated. Uh, he's gone for just... Okay, that's good. Alright, that's fair. That's a good play, that's a good play. Sub to save with Gengar. Alright. Okay, I'm gonna roost. And, uh... Okay, or I'm gonna die. Whatever. Uh, same thing. <laughs> it's not really the same thing, though. Uh. Hmm. Lots of good switch in here. Uh, I wanna, like, if I go to Heatran, you'll know I'm Scarf. I'm gonna go with Keldeo. I, yeah, I don't see any reason not to go with Keldeo, so. I go for a Hydro Pump. Uh, he can just sub. I can switch to something else, I guess. I'm pretty sure I'm... I think I'm timid, but I don't think I went out speed. I'm, not, I'm pretty sure I don't speed, because Gengar gets like 350. I think if it's timid. Alright, so he's gonna switch out to Whimsicott. Fair enough. Uh, wow, that did a lot. Okay, uh, let's go for another one, because it's a 2 at KO. And yeah, so if I can kill this thing, I won't mind. Even if it, like, leech seeds me or paralyzes or something. Ah, uh, that's... That's fine. Um, I don't mind hitting everything with a pump, it's fine. I have no problem doing that at all. So send out something else. Ah, uh, okay, never mind, your view is dead. I had no problem with that at all. Just hitting stuff with some nice pumps. Genesect, uh... Probably wants to T-Bolt. But I have a feeling he might U-turn predicting me to switch, predicting the T-Bolt, so I'm gonna Hydro Pump. Yes, <laughs> the plays. All right, this is gonna die. Don't miss. I have not missed a hydro pump yet. Nice, 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 nice. Uh, he's probably wanna, gonna, he's probably gonna want to disable now. So uh, let's go into Mammoth Swine. As he goes for a sludge bomb. Okay, he's trying to take me out. Uh, all right. So what I'm gonna do is go for. Um, Icicle Crash. And now he- I should've went for Stone Edge actually, but now he's gonna go for Disable and he disconnected. Okay, so I'm gonna claim victory. And what I'll do is come back in a minute, so I'll see you guys then. Alright, so the guy never came back, and now we're back with a new battle, so... Let's just see this team real quick. Uh... Three potential Megas. Uh, annoying Skarmory, Annoying Rotom Wash, and Annoying Genesect. Uh, I'm gonna lead off with... Celebi. Uh, not a good lead. Uh, obviously he's gonna U-turn. So I'm gonna go to Mandibuzz, just so I can take it. And yeah, that's fine. That's right enough. So, probably gonna go to Rotom Wash. I can just go to, uh, go to, S yeah, go to Celebi again. I don't know why it took me so long to say that, but go to Celebi. Okay. Uh, right. I'm just gonna go for knockoff. And I'm gonna live that, and I am going to nearly kill you. And knock off your black sludge, so you have no recovery. How do you like that? Alright, let's go to Mammoth Swine on the obvious Thunderbolt again. And we just kill this thing with an Ice Shard. Right. <laughs> That's easy, okay. That's a good start. That's a good start to battle. Gyarados is a problem. I don't know. I, I have Genesect to hit it, but I mean, I have to catch it properly. Uh, I don't know what this thing wants to do. I feel like going for an Icicle Crash, really. I, I feel like going for Earthquake. Yeah, I know I can live that. I'm Pick Fat. 
<laughs> okay, uh, now we go to Heatran, because he is scarfed. And what we do is predict the switch out into Gyarados, go for Stone Edge. Or pretend, yes, yeah, yeah, that's definitely a better switch. I don't see, or Rotom Wash, yeah, whatever, get a Stone Edge off. Nice bit of damage. Uh, I could have doubled Celebi, but sure. Out into Celebi. Eat up a Hydro Pump. Uh, predict the switch out into Skarmory. Go to Genesect. Or, yeah, I don't know why I did that, because he can do that. Yeah, he can both switch and do that. And go to his own Genesect. Uh, I have a feeling he's going to go for a U-turn. Uh, either way, I think I should go into Mandibuzz. Alright, he decides to go for Flamethrower. That's good. I know he's locked in, so I just go to Heatran. And what we do is go for a Flash Fire Boost to Fire Blast. On whatever. And that's a clean two-hit KO. So we're gonna go for another one. Because I'm Choice Scarf. And there we go. <laughs> this guy's just making it too easy for me. Gyarados. Uh, now that's a problem because my Genesect's at low HP. I'm gonna go with Mandibuzz. Underbreeze on the Mega. He is gonna Mega. And go for a Waterfall. Right. Uh... Hmm. Okay. Okay. Let's go with Caldeo. And we will go for a Sacred Sword. Which will probably force him out into Skarmory. This will force him into Skarmory, I think. Uh... No, I'm gonna Sacred Sword. Just in case. So... That did a lot. <laughs> that did a lot of damage. Okay, so I have nothing to get away as Hazards, which sucks. I'm gonna go to Genesect right now. And he's gonna set Stealth Rock's fine. Uh, I know I can kill him with Flamethrower, but I have a feeling he may go into Garchomp to take it. So I think it's best for me to go for an Ice Beam, but I'm gonna go for Flamethrower safely anyway. As he stays in, so yeah, okay. Could've went to Garchomp, which would've been a problem, obviously, but... Uh, now we go for an Ice Beam. Hopefully he's not Jolly, because if he's not Jolly, I... Ah, nice! <laughs> ah, the Yachi, it doesn't even matter! <laughs> ah, nice. Nice, Genesect, nice. <laughs> That's not bad at all. He's gonna U-turn. Oh, he's not, okay. I should've kept Genesect alive. I have, uh... I have Celebi. Um... Go to Keldeo, because he's forced to go for the Flamethrower. So you can go for a Sacred Sword. And, okay, uh, just sack your Mega Gyarados, that's cool. That's fine, whatever. Uh, I can't believe he set up the Sword Stance. <laughs> that's what <it coughs> That's what Expert Belt Genesect is all about. And he can't even kill me, that's cool. So, there we go. That was a clean 4 -0. That was a nice win. And that just makes me want to get another battle, because we're only at 18 minutes. So we get one more. That was nice. I, I'm very happy that I played. And, oh no! <laughs> the, the monster is here. And I have nothing to status it. Actually, I do have Celebi to T-Wave. As he's off a Rotom Watch. Great. So, uh... Good Leaf Storm. I could T-Wave. What's he gonna go into? Uh, Sylveon. I knew he'd full switch, so don't go to extra drill, please. Because I went for T-Wave, and that obviously won't affect you. And that would be awful. The threat has been neutralized. <laughs> the threat has been neutralized. It's paralyzed. <laughs> I can't do anything. Alright, let's go to Kelio. Fake out. Oh, he's fully powered. Nice. Uh, I'm gonna pump. I'm just gonna pump right away. I have no reason not to. <laughs> he could switch into anything really, and not much on his team appreciates a pump, so. Ooh, pump it. That doesn't appreciate a pump. <laughs> the plays. I've actually played very well, to my surprise. Uh, this thing is a problem, though. A very big problem. Alright, never mind, he's not playing it properly, so it's not. Um... He can still heal me with the knight. Okay, never mind, you wanna set up? Uh, I'm not gonna let you do that. I'm not gonna let you sit up. Cause why would I? I'm knock off this thing's leftovers. And yeah, cool, we went for Toxic, so I gotta break to that, but whatever. 
Uh, go to Heatran, I guess. Scare him up with something. He's probably gonna move us. I can take that. Look at that. Poor damage. Just get the special attack fall though, which sucks. Uh, he, I guess he knows that this is just physical Pokemon, so or special Pokemon, so he might be fearing the Flash Cannon. Uh, I'm just gonna double this enemy. As that, wow, that was actually the best play I could have done because I actually get him to go into this thing and go for a Leaf Storm, eating it up. Life Orb plus Leaf Storm damage, dead. All right, not bad. Not bad at all. I love this team. I really like this team a lot. So thanks to Gumtree for giving it to me. It's just great. People don't know how to play around it. Uh, this thing is not a problem. I do have a uh, Mammoth Swine, but he also has his Rotom Watch, so I need to kill that first. I also have Mandibuzz. <laughs> I also have Mandibuzz. Why would he go for Earthquake on Celebi? What was he predicting? I wasn't going to go to Heatran. <laughs> that would be stupid. Uh, Iron Head. Knock off whatever item he has. Leftover is cool. Uh, roost. Actually, I'm toxic. Uh, now we go to Heatran. And now we go for the Fire Blast. And now we don't miss. Actually, no, we don't want to miss. Oh, never mind, we don't miss. Okay, cool. Uh, I killed it. That crit didn't matter, because Excadrill does not take Fire Blast from anything. Rotom Wash, not a problem. I have Celebi, I have, uh... Mandibuzz I can just sack, I have... Yeah, I have a Mandibuzz I can just sack. <laughs> I have this I can just get rid of, so it's fine. Alright, so we knock off. Is he Scarf, actually? Why? Uh, I don't need it. Why is that Mandibuzz? So bulky, so tank. <laughs> yeah, I don't know, it just is. I just told him it's well trained. <laughs> it's well trained. <laughs> well trained Mandibuzz. Uh, Celebi. And I am just going to recover. And now we go out into Genesect. The thing is, I can't really. I need to take this thing out too, because I cannot touch it. <laughs> I cannot do much because I don't have like Iron Head or anything. Uh, I got the attack boost as well, so I guess I can just U-turn. Why would you do that? Why would you do that? Keldy up. And I'm gonna Sacred Sword everything. I like how I neutralized that thing on the first turn and it did absolutely nothing and people always complain that it's broken. It is kind of broken, but... I just took it out, basically on the first turn. I won that battle on the first turn by going for T-Wave. What time are we at? We are at 23 minutes. I'm getting one more. I'm making this 30 minutes. I'm making this 30 minutes. Or at least one more battle. Because I've been on such a good roll today with this, so... Alright, uh... Baton Pass. Baton Pass is what I see you right away. Yep. Uh, he's obviously gonna go for the protect. I see a team very weak to Heatran. Doesn't even protect. Baton pass broken. Baton pass, well, not really, because he still has other stuff, but that part was broken pretty quick. The speed boost was broken, which is the main part. Uh, I can just break it with this thing as well. <coughs> yep. Go for it. Please go to... Why would you not go to your Espeon? Why would you... Yeah. Why would you not go to Espeon? That makes no sense, because I would have whirlwinded myself out. But I would have went into Genesect, so it doesn't even matter. Uh, I'm just gonna hit this thing with a knockoff. Alright, I already won, so... One more, then. <laughs> I just broke that in the first turn. <laughs> I broke... Like, I won two battles on the first turn, basically. Uh, I got some nice standard. Uh, nice core. Nice, ugly core. With Greninja just there. So, this might... Mm, yeah, this is a very... Defied together, an annoying core. Uh... I feel like we need him with Genesect. That's fine. Uh... I'm so afraid of this thing carrying Hidden Power Fire. Because I know that they have it. I know that people have been running that recently. 
Uh, yeah, I'm too, I'm too afraid, I'm too afraid. I know people be running, I've been running that recently. Alright, cool, uh, that was very lucky for him, because I could have predicted that. I'm gonna go for Naga, but I don't want this to be like Rocky Helmet, so I don't want it to affect me later on in the game. Uh, it's leftovers, okay, it could have been Rocky Helmet, I just didn't want it affecting me, so. Uh, if I go to Genesect, I win. Because I have, I have, well, not Ronin Watch, but I can kill everything else, because I get the special attack boost. Rocks aren't even a problem. I wish I outsped the Greninja though. Oh, uh, that's not a counter. Oh, he probably thinks I'm locked. He probably thinks I'm locked. Let's just drop the expert belt. Out. Get out of here. <laughs> Get out of here. <laughs> You're not wanted. <laughs> you are not wanted here. Get out. Uh, you might go to Rowan Watch, because I can't kill that. Or, wait, yeah, I won't go to Trevenant. Yeah, he goes to Rowan Watch, that's expected. Uh, hmm. Selby? Let's eat that up. I think that could be choice. That looked like choice damage. Uh, if he's not, then I'm stupid, but uh, that looked like choice Hydro Pump to me. Out to Trevenant. I should have went to Genesect, but whatever. I might go into Tentacruel. I'm just gonna Fire Blast. No, he's gonna go to Tentacruel short or Rotom Wash. Uh, I'm gonna Earth Power. Ah, oh, damn it! <laughs> I'm kind of annoyed about that. All right, back to Celebi. Whatever. He's gonna if he's smart, he'll Volt Switch. Or yeah, he can trick me. That's cool. Choice back Celebi. Uh. I'm just gonna U-turn. I knew that was spec. I knew that was choice damage. I just knew it. Alright, so he's staying in. He's gonna Volt Switch now, so... We can go to Mammoth Swine. And we can go... Back to Celebi on the Hydro Pump. Or the Wisp, whatever. Either or. Uh, we can just... Recover to get our health back. As he probably goes for, yeah, just hard switches. And, uh... I am forced to switch, but... The only thing he can do is set up a substitute, really. I'm going with Genesect. Yes, he's defensive. He's physical defensive. <laughs> so I can just flamethrower him. <laughs> oh, nice crit. Didn't even matter. Special attack boost. Uh... I'm gonna flamethrower again. Whatever, you've run wash, it's fine. That didn't do anything, Genesec. Come on, pick it up a bit. You're slacking. Uh let's go with Celebi. I don't know, really predicting Volt Switch. I don't wanna risk it. I just don't wanna risk that. Yeah, that was that was that was good. That was a good decision. Alright, some choice vex Celebi. So obviously I'm gonna leave Storm. <laughs> uh, sometimes you just gotta know when to do the right thing, and when you get it right, it's good. Alright, so Trevenant. Uh, I think I'm pretty sure I can break it up here with... Uh, okay, no I can't. That did 19%, and... Oh, I went for Leech Seed, predicting me to switch, nice. Alright, uh, let's go with... I'm kinda tired of the hazard damage. So, I kinda wanna get rid of them with the Devog. And then I want to win with Genesect by just taking out this thing and thunderbolting everything else. Alright, cool. I don't care. I don't get rid of the Leech Seed. That's perfectly fine. I'm going to knock off and just knock off his, his battery, even though it won't matter. It should break this up, though, because he's... Well, actually, he's physical defensive, so I don't know if it will. But knock off did get a massive boost. It's like 91 power, so yeah, it's going to break the sub. And he predicted me to switch. I really have no reason to. I can stay here with Mandibuzz the whole time if I want to. And just like get a free switch into Genesect and win. Ah, uh, that did a lot. And it knocked off a Citrus Berry. <laughs> and he can't sub. Nice. Alright, that crit mattered, obviously. And now Genesect for the win. Even though he has this thing left, so I mean, it's not for the win, but. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, we'll flamethrower. 
That's fine. I have the special attack boost. I see no problem here. I see absolutely no problem with this switch in. I'm not afraid of the Tentacruel. I'm not afraid. I, I don't know if that mattered. No, I should calculate that, but I'm pretty sure that didn't matter. I'm pretty sure that didn't matter. Uh, and he left, okay. Uh, actually, we're gonna calc that right now while we can, so hang on a second while I get up the damage calculator. Alright, so we're back on the damage calculator. Uh, let's just see. So we had Genesect at 252 special attack. At plus one because of download. Hitting a. Well, I think I'm. Uh, I don't even know what I am. I think I'm. I don't know. Uh, I think it's timid because it's. Not doesn't have any. It only has U-turn. Uh, download. And we used Thunderbolt on a Tentacruel. Okay, so that didn't matter because <laughs> he is more than likely this and this. Alright, so that didn't matter, but it would have done a solid 60%. I don't see what he was complaining about. I'm pretty sure he, I want to see if he could kill me with Skull. So, we have Tentacruel. Or not Tentacruel. Tentacruel. Not Timid. Uh, probably Calm. At 252 HP. And 252 Special Defense. Getting a Sclad with uh, whatever ability doesn't even matter because yeah uh, on a Gen I think I was at like what 60% Genesect I'm not even at full a Genesect with no investment I don't see the problem uh, I don't even have a nature yeah it doesn't matter about nature so. I, I'm pretty sure that's what he would have done, so as you can see it wouldn't have mattered, even if I was at 60% I would have lived. He could have got the burn, which would have slowed me down a bit, but yeah, that's all there is. So, that's pretty much it guys, hopefully you enjoyed the showdown live, and I did pretty well. So yeah, I'll see you guys, I was at 60%, yeah, so I'll see you guys next time.